as an embroiderer and as a embroidery instructor, one of the most popular questions that I get is how do I start a hat brand business? And really it's hard to answer this question in a quick direct message or in an email. So in today's video, I want to dive deep and get into the details about starting and running your own brand, specifically running your own hat brand business. I broke down this question into four different categories. Now these are four make or break categories that have to be analyzed and completed in order. And just one thing to note is there is no such thing as the one and only way. There's no perfect way. So let's go ahead. Let's start with category number one, which is kind of like the obvious one, right? This is your design. So I'm pretty sure all of us here watching this video today. Okay. I'm pretty sure all of us in the most random moment, most random time, we all come up with like the greatest idea ever. I know when I'm driving, I have all sorts of idea, million dollar ideas, right? Now the most important first step, okay, as soon as you get that idea is to actually write it down, draw it out and visualize it for yourself. And once you draw it out, have an idea, okay, the most important part, especially when starting up a hat brand business is the idea that you have turning that drawing, turning that vision into actual artwork, into finished artwork. This is the category where are you the graphic designer or do you have to send it out to a graphic designer? And if you are a graphic designer, then this is where you have a big advantage because you're not waiting on anybody. As soon as you get an idea, okay, you're on the drawing board and you're kind of mapping stuff out. Now, if you're going to outsource your graphic design, this is where it's very, very important to have your connection straight up and have somebody on your team that's going to take your ideas and turn it into actual designs. And of course, communication always key in this situation. And I know it's very easy right now to find graphic designers all around the world. Okay. But you want to make sure that you're able to communicate. You're able to be on the same page as whoever is doing your graphic designs. And of course, the best scenario is to have somebody that, you know, somebody that's locally that you could actually talk to one on one. Right. So of course that would be the best case scenario where you actually know somebody physically know somebody that you can connect with and you could turn your ideas into actual graphic designs. Now graphic design software, it's come a long way over the past couple of years. Now it's super, super user friendly. You can actually learn. All right. You can learn illustrator, Corel draw all of the most popular software designs out there you can easily learn it because there's so much tutorials there's so much training on learning this graphic design and of course the big benefit of doing your own graphic designs is that you can test different artwork and you're kind of moving a little faster than you know going back and forth with a graphic designer but now let me tell you this big but here but if you're not artistic if you don't know the rules of graphic designing you might want to take a step back and actually hire a graphic designer. All right. And just be careful when you hire a graphic designer because it's very easy to get somebody cheap right now. Good quality costs money. All right. So remember that good quality costs money. Sometimes you might have to pay to play, right? You want to make sure your, especially your first designs or your first artwork that you get out there. You want to make sure you don't take any shortcuts. You don't try to save a buck or two. Okay. Because this here is make or break, all right? Your designs, your actual finished designs that you're going to turn into stitches. All right. So here in category number one, you got to make a decision. Who's going to design your artwork? Is it you? Do you have to learn certain skills or are you going to send it out? But the most important part here is turning your ideas into a sketch and then to final artwork. Okay. In order to move on to the next one, we got to make sure this category is taken care of. Okay. And sometimes it could take weeks, months, maybe years to come up with the perfect, perfect design, perfect logo, and all sorts of different types of artwork. Now, this is the big benefit for hat designs. This is where I think hats in general kind of differ from the other type of garment decorating is hats the more simple the better okay so when we're dealing with hat artwork we're not dealing with so many different colors color gradients 
crazy type of artwork all right here when we're dealing with with hats we're talking about the basics of the basics of artwork really what you want to do is get down your sketch correctly and then usually the graphic designing part usually is pretty straightforward here on hats okay because we're dealing with a smaller design you're, you're working with about four inches wide to about three inches in height maximum that is your canvas that you're working with. You're not working with a big space. That's why in this situation, you can get away with learning some of the basic graphic designing because you're not doing anything too crazy. Really where the, where the hard part, the imagination part is, is on the actual sketch. Getting the sketch in correctly. And then after that, it can be a simple trace in the graphic design software. So that is category number one is turning your ideas into a sketch, into a graphic design, into final artwork. Now we're ready to move on to category number two, which is also a make or break category, okay? And that is selecting the right product. Now here in this category, when you are selecting your product, there are so many different routes you can go with. There's so many different companies. And even within these companies, there's also a lot of different styles and selections that you can choose from. So of course, obviously you can't really order everything. You have to make a decision and choose what is the best product that's going to match your customers. So in this category, you gotta be careful when you're taking advice from somebody else because maybe your product might be different from somebody else. Okay, and here, when you're selecting your product, you have a choice, okay? There's always the very super cheap stuff and the very super expensive stuff. So somewhere in between, in the middle, that's where most of the popular hats are at. And this is where it's very important, okay? So I would suggest when you're in this category here, try to get as many samples. Sometimes you could visit certain locations to see samples or sometimes you might just have to buy samples and kind of get a feel for yourself all right sometimes it might be expensive when you're starting because you got to buy different samples you got to test stuff out okay it might be expensive but in the long run it's going to pay off because the last thing you want to do is order a specific product or a specific brand you haven't really tested it out especially if you're going to order a large amount the last thing you want to do is order something that doesn't fit your brand okay because there are certain hats that when you turn them when you put them on okay it just doesn't have that same feel that we're used to i'm a big hat fan okay so i know right i'm pretty sure if you're a big hat fan too you know when you put on a hat you know how it's supposed to feel you know the difference between a cheap hat and a very good quality style hat okay like it's just i don't know what it is it's just that feeling so make sure when you're buying your samples when you're testing stuff out okay you wear it okay for example here okay i got my hat right here okay so some stuff that you want to kind of make sure you want to check okay you want to check the brims has that good feel you want to make sure the sides, just every detail that you could think about. Do you want it to be structured, unstructured? Okay. Do you want it to be adjustable? Do you want it that hat adjustable? Do you want it snap back? Okay. There's so many different options to go with. And just remember, you want to have a product. Okay. So when you're buying blanks, you want to, you want to buy a blank that is known to be made specifically to embroider on. Okay, because you could, I'm telling you, you're going to find some cheap stuff out there that once you start decorating it and embroidering on it, okay, it's going to start falling apart because the stitches are so cheaply made. You definitely, definitely don't want to be in a situation where you buy a bunch of cheap stuff and now you can't do anything with it. All right. So of course you want to, you want to make sure you wear it. Okay. You wear it, you feel it and you take it one step further and you actually share it with friends and family, tell them to kind of give you feedback, all right? Because once you commit and you select a product, right? You got to ride or die with that product right there, all right? So always important, this step, this category here is sample, test, make sure it fits, looks good, and then you, and then you run some stitch tests, okay? Make sure, then you test it out with stitches on it, all right? Before you're committing to the big runs. So now that you've chosen the perfect hat that fits your brand, now you can move on to the next category. And that is production. 
under production that's who is going to embroider your hats and of course if you have your own embroider machine all right that's easy day right there right easy easy day and the benefit of having your embroider machine that can make hats is you could sample out you could test different hats you could test different designs now you have access to one of the most important things here in the whole operation and that's the sampling of your designs sample 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 that way when you're ready to go live you've already tested you already kind of seen all the different scenarios all right now let's say you don't have an embroidery machine right let's say you got to source it out so two types of scenarios you have in this situation right you could either keep do it in-house meaning you have your own embroidery machine or if you don't have an embroidery machine now you got to send it out right you got to send it out to somebody and once again here is where you need to have your connection strain out you need to know companies that you can work with that can actually work with you especially if you're starting small right you want to you definitely need to make connections with somebody that can maybe run some small runs for you once you start working with the larger companies all right with the multi-head big companies you're going to have to meet certain amount of quantities so you could stitch out your product all right and if you're still in the sample phase what you don't want to do is start ordering hundreds of hats and you haven't really sampled and seen how your product looks like all right so here of course, if you have your own embroidery machine, you're testing out stuff, you're testing out designs. Maybe you wanna switch from puff to flat. Maybe you wanna make certain sand stitches a little wider or a little smaller. Let's see how it looks like this. Let's look at how it looks with this color combination. All right, so of course, if you have your embroidery machine or if you know somebody, you have access to somebody that has an embroidery machine, all right? That's where you have a big, big advantage here. And here under production, this is where every company, right? This is what separates every company. Nobody ever does it the same, okay? Nobody ever does the production the same because everybody has different resources and different connections. Now, let's say you hit a home run and you, and you get a design, right? You create a design, right? That makes it big, gets very popular, and it's ready to sell. People are requesting it. You have shops that are requesting it, okay? This is where it's a good idea to have made connections with bigger shops can run your large orders, all right? So once you start getting into the hundreds, two hundreds, now once you start getting up to those big numbers, you might not have time to do the production yourself if you are doing it in-house, okay? So at that point, you start sending it out, all right? Because at that level, Right? You're more focused on the sales, the admin, the marketing, all the other admin stuff that you got to take care of. And one other thing to add, one big advantage to do your embroidery in-house is you can do your embroidery on demand. Okay, So you don't really have to stitch hundreds of hats as the orders are coming in, then you're stitching them depending on demand. So of course, production, that is definitely a make or break category that you really, really have to sit down. You need to do your research, okay? And as much as people wanna say that, you know, it's easy to do this, okay? There's a lot of decisions you gotta make, all right? A lot of decisions you gotta make. They're not easy decisions, okay? So make sure, make sure you do your homework because here in this category here, sky's the limit and it's all, and it's all about what direction do you wanna go with. So now that you have your design, you have your product and you have your final embroidered product on hand ready to go now we're ready for category number four which i think is the more complicated more difficult category out of all the categories they literally write there's literally unlimited amount of books there's unlimited amount of podcasts there's so much information about this category and that is selling your product how are you going to sell that great idea, that great product that you have on hand? Sometimes what happens is you see how one company does it and then you want to replicate that company. But I'm a big believer of you cannot recreate greatness. Greatness is when something magically happened. Okay, A company hit a home run. Now, if you try to follow their same steps, okay, that path, has came and gone okay you have to create your own path 
information is changing every day by the minute by the second okay so whatever someone did it one way okay you're gonna have to absorb that information take the lessons learned and then you're going to have to do it your way all right so of course when it comes for selling your product okay even though everybody has different scenarios different situations about completing this category one thing that all companies have in common is creating a website with a shopping cart okay that there is probably the common playing field that all companies have in common i think the two most important part when uh, creating your website all right you want to have photos good good photos that are going to sell your product that really represents your vision okay because you could have everything perfect but if you have choppy like whatever pictures okay it's not gonna sell your pictures are your sales okay they're your sales agent they are selling your product you want to make sure you don't cut corners when it comes time for pictures all right and then another thing and then the second thing that i have about websites just make it easy for the customer to order your product the easier it is for them to come in see your product order and then check out okay the easier the better all right so of course shopping cart that's the one thing all companies have in common the same way the best of the best company could build a shopping cart all right if you're starting out you can do the same thing too okay the reason why it's so different from company to company the way you're going to sell is because everybody lives in different location everybody has different connections okay to me that's one of the most key element in this whole selling your hats is your connections who do you know okay because sometimes it's just a matter of knowing one person that's going to introduce you to another person and then from there your business just shoots through the roof all right so of course this conversation here never stops because there is no one way to do it there is multiple different ways it's all about actually doing it putting in the work all right so this was kind of like a, a bird's eye view of how to start a hat brand business if we have any seasoned entrepreneur hat embroiders that want to add any information to this video all right i encourage you to put it down in the comments if you have any questions or you want to add any information that you have all right feel free to put it down in the in the comment section that way we can all learn from each other something that i want to do in the near future is interview some upcoming entrepreneurs and some established entrepreneurs that sell embroidered products i know there's a lot of good talent out there and i know there are good companies that are doing very very well right now in the merchandise business so i want to thank everybody for stopping by today and i'll see you on the next one peace out